What is good everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Merry Christmas by the way to all those who celebrate because this video is going up on Christmas Day. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome and thank you for watching this video. Uh, today, I'm going to be giving 10 beginner tips in Black Ops Cold War. This video is for the people who have not even started playing Black Ops Cold War or they're playing Black Ops Cold War and they're kind of struggling a bit and they want to be able to improve quick, get more kills, get more wins because you don't want to be that one friend in the group that isn't pulling their way. So you came to the right place. I'm gonna help you get better at this game uh, I have a lot of really good tips I'm about to show you guys and this gameplay you're also gonna be watching while you're listening to me is insane I got challenged in my stream to go on a 20 kill streak and someone would give me five subs I ended up going on a 36 kill streak So I got the nuclear and then there's a surprise at the end after uh, I get the nuclear and the 36 kill streak So make sure to watch to the end because this gameplay is insane, but let's get started with these tips and tricks so the very first thing you should do when you're first signing on to Cold War, or any game for that matter, is find a good sensitivity. And if you're struggling to do that, I would recommend if you're, you know, first time on, play on like 551 ADS or 661 ADS. I feel like those are really solid uh, sensitivities to start. And you can go in private match or custom match, turn bots on, and, or go to verse bots in the lobby and add bots. To the map whatever whatever pick whatever map you want put it on nuketown and just run around for a little bit and shoot you don't have to instantly hop into a public match and try to like um do too much before you're ready get comfortable with the settings first of course you want to get some good video settings maybe put the audio on like high boost so you can uh, hear people running around the map as well but first and foremost having good settings is very important uh moving on from that now you want to make sure you have the best of the best perks because if you don't have the best perks you're going to be struggling a little bit and of course if you're not ranked up yet it's going to take some time for you to get these perks but there are the default classes and some of them will have all these perks They'll be a mixture of them but when you get these perks i highly recommend using them uh, of course i always like using ghost because that blocks you from the uavs and stuff like that and then i also like using cold-blooded later on in the game when they start calling in attack helicopters and other ai based score streaks or like chopper gunners so you don't get the red box around your body when you're running around the map so i love using perks like that also Running per greed is very helpful. That means you can have two perks in each slot. So I like using tack mask and flak jacket as well for my first uh, perk or my perk one. And it's just very helpful because I'm not getting hit by nades. I'm not getting stunned too much. Like you're getting hit by nades, but it's not doing near as much damage as it would if you don't have it. So stacking perks is very helpful. And then if you can control having a gun with only five attachments, that's great as well. But if you do need to put gunfighter on, you can stack gunfighter on and add more attachments to uh, add the mag, like the 40 round mag or the 34 round mag or the steady aim laser, whatever it may be uh next thing we're going to be talking about is the secondary weapons these are very important and these are kind of unique to this cod and uh, modern warfare um having a secondary shotgun is incredibly helpful secondary shotguns are one of the most overpowered things in this game and if you are not taking advantage of them you highly are highly recommend it and you definitely should be so rank that secondary shotgun up because after you run out of ammo in your krig or your ak-47 or your ak-74u or your mp5 you pull out the shotgun that's fully stacked and you're getting two to three to four more kills because that thing is absolutely crazy. It's so, so good. But let's say you don't want to use a shotgun. You don't enjoy using it. You can always use the 1911 pistol, which is a pistol that you can shoot very fast and it kills in three bullets. So it's very helpful. Or if you want to be, you know, you have a good shot. You're pretty confident in your shot right now. You can use the Magnum. It only, it kills in two bullets, but the fire rate's a little slower and is a little bit more recoil so you have to like kind of get in a rhythm with it you have to shoot it once and then shoot it again like you can't just be spamming it like crazy well you can but it's going to take some getting used to control it but it kills in two bullets so it's very very good another thing i personally love using on all my classes is field mic if you do not use field mic you i highly recommend you use it because you just get to the enemy team's base Put the field mic down and then you're able to see a bunch of people on the radar it's so helpful it helps you spawn trap them helps you know when the other team flips to the enemy to the other side of the map the spawns are changing so it's such a huge help when using a field mic i cannot recommend it enough and then also another one of my favorites is running stim stim is a game changer so when you what stim is when you get shot a couple times you're obviously hurt you pop stim instead of using like a stun or a flash 
and it gives you health back automatically. So it's very, very helpful. Cannot recommend using Stim enough. It helps me just be able to be in the enemy's base, get a couple kills, Stim up, and then go back out there and re-challenge and get even more kills. It is incredible. Um, and then you, you're going to want to use the best weapons in the game. So I'll make sure you're staying watching the channel so you know what the best weapons are and the meta weapons are at the time. Right now, I would say the best SMG overall is the AK-74U. And then I would honestly put the MAC-10 right there behind it, followed by probably the MP5. So those are probably my top three right now. And then for ARs, I would say the AK-74U. That gun kills very fast. It has a pretty good fire rate. And it's easier to... It's, it's kind of hard to control the recoil at first, but when you get used to it, it's really good. The Krig is probably one of the best guns right now because you have no recoil with that gun. So if you are struggling with controlling some recoil, I would highly recommend you using the Krig. And it kills pretty fast, but the fire rate is really good and it has literally no recoil. And what you want to use on these guns is it's very important to have the best attachments as well. In pubs, uh, I really think you should always be using a silencer. A silencer just makes everything easier. You don't show up on the minimap. People don't know where you're shooting from. They, so let's say a lot of people in the lobby don't have a headset or they're playing with their, their TV sound. They're not gonna be able to hear you too well when you have a silencer. So using a silencer helps you stay stealthy and low key in their base. Definitely use a silencer on all your guns. Uh, whenever, I'm actually using a silencer in this gameplay on my AK-74U and you saw I got a nuke because of it. Like it, it was awesome. And now we're getting to slightly more advanced stuff where you might have to watch some of the other videos on my channel channels like slide canceling if you don't know slide canceling it's a movement you do with your controller where you pretty much just are you're sprinting forward and you hold your left analog in and then you hit your right analog once and then you do the slide cancel animation and it's very helpful it catches a lot of enemies off guard and it messes with the hit boxes in game so you're harder to shoot for the enemy and then you just come out of sprint and you're ready to kill them so slide canceling is very clutch make sure to check out the video on my channel if you want a more in detail example of how to slide cancel but you'll see me doing it a lot throughout this gameplay another big thing that i always stress on the channel is to make sure you are getting information and what i mean by information is let's say you're at a doorway and you have a feeling someone's going to be in the corner right there you can shimmy the doorway as we like to call it walk slightly in and walk slightly out real quick to give it a quick peek. If you have a tactical, like a stun or a nade, you can throw a Semtex in that corner to see if they're there. If you get a hit marker, you know he's there, you can walk in, kill him. Or if you get a hit marker, you can shimmy one angle, you see he's not in that first corner, you turn around, you look at the other corner, you know he's gonna be there. So use your tacticals, use your grenades to get information and then also, Peek out, but don't put your whole body out there to get killed. Like, just do a quick little peek to get information on where the enemy team is. And some other advanced movements. I did a, like, top five or, like, something like a pro player secret movements video where I talked about all, a ton, a ton of movements when it comes to walking through smoke. The best ways to get kills while people are throwing smokes around the map. The best way to get kills if someone's under you, you need to slide cancel off a ledge or you need to jump shot them around a corner or hit a slide cancel to a head glitch. I made a very detailed video on that. So I highly recommend you go checking that out so you can see this because I wish I could show you guys all right now, but it's in that video. It will help your gameplay a ton. And I like, I, and I hope this video has already helped your gameplay a ton too. Um, one last thing is you want to use streaks that match your goals so personally if i'm going for a lot of kills and i want to and i don't want to use like attack helicopter or anything like that or like uh a napalm strike because you're gonna see a napalm strike actually uh, do something really bad and i'm gonna call a really bad napalm strike in this game so i took it off i'm gonna use a uav and a counter uav so i'm gonna be getting all my kills pretty much with a gun until i get my attack chopper later on but i have the uav so i know where the other team is of course i'm not gonna see the people that are using ghosts but i'm gonna i feel like majority or half and it's like 50 50 with people that don't use ghosts so i still find it very useful to use a uav and then i also use a counter uav so i'm scrambling the other team's radar so they don't know they don't have a mini map they don't know what the spawns are looking like they don't know where i'm shooting at and i have a silencer so even when they do have the mini map i have a silencer so i highly recommend using a uav and a counter uav to get as many kills as possible and one last tip that is a very big help is 
if you are looking at your mini map in the top left of your screen and let's say you see all your teammates on the other side of the map what that means is you're usually in the other team's base so the other team is going to be spawning close to you so make sure you would recognize that when you're when like all the blue dots on your team on the minimap or across the map that usually means the other team is going to be spawning on you and be near you so be ready for the fights that's going to do it for this video hopefully it helps all the new call of duty players get better get some more kills please let me know if it does and shout out to you if you made it to the end thank you all for watching i will see you in the next video and as always my name is attach and i'm out peace